Las Vegas, Nevada, city of lights, casinos, and sin. But in January, it's home of the SHOT Show 2018. Let's get started. Here on the Evernex stand, which is always popular, they've got a new range of semi-autos. Now, as you can see from the video, it seems to be working incredibly well. And the system is actuated air, if I'm saying that right. So it's not from the reflux system on, on the barrel, it's actually coming sort of straight down through there to help the semi-order system. Now, there, obviously there is a little bit of secret to that. We, we don't get to find out exactly what it is today. So from what it sounds like, the air is being used from the cylinder. Um, Mr. Lee says he's fired thousands and thousands and thousands of shots through this and it works faultlessly every time. So that is very, very exciting. You also got a lovely carbon cylinder on there. And do you know what? Actually, it really is quite light. There, there really isn't a lot to it. Um, and it really is very, very pointable. Side lever cocking system, which obviously gets everything going. And then once you're in there, you just pull the trigger until you're out of air or pellets really. Comes in 1772225 and up to 302 caliber, if I get that right. So that's going to give you a lot of bang from that semi-auto system. On the top, you've got space for scopes, dovetail rails, and the block really is quite simple and smooth. It's a very simple looking rifle, I've got to be honest, but that is what makes it so attractive. It's not trying to be clever. It's not trying to be over fussy with the stock. It's just a simple semi-auto rifle that works. Mr. Lee tells me that about here, in the future, there's going to be a power adjuster as well. Not only can you get it in the style of a regular rifle, you can also get it in the style of a bullpup. Now the numbers on this are pretty much the same as, as the other rifle, because the cylinders are pretty much the same uh, size as well. Something to point out is that the carbon cylinder is an optional extra, that's not included in the price. Uh, but this is semi-auto as well, it's going to be power adjustable, and look at that, eh? It's like something out of the Terminator, look at that. Isn't that good? And do you know what? It feels really, really sturdy as well. Nice Picatinny rail on top, semi-auto system at the back. The trigger is halfway down, so that kind of makes sense. And you're only going to have to sort of index that once because you're going to put the magazine in and then put it forward. It's not a system where you're going to have to keep going in between because it's semi-auto, you just keep pulling the trigger. That's very nice. Believe it or not, sometimes it's the small things that attract your attention. And it's on this, and it's this hammer here that I really like the look of. Now watch this, look at that. That's a hammer multi-shot rifle. See that? You've got the magazine in the middle there, and it's a longer cut magazine. So you could put sort of homemade slugs in there, and you could also put in any choice of ammunition you want, really. Um, in 2.2, you're getting around 60 shots, around the 40 joule mark. If you use the double action, like that, that does tend to reduce uh, the power just a little bit on each shot. I think that's going to be due to some sort of spring mechanism here. But look at that. Now, I really, really like that. Um, that is, I think, you know, can you, can you imagine that? You're sort of, you're in the backyard and you, you hammer back. Shit, that is, I, yeah, I can't really quite get my words out on that one because I, I really, really like that. And I think, I think that's a really, really good thing to put on. Top, you've got a nice Picatinny rail so you can put your toys on the top, red dot sight. Um, it's a nice compact little gun, little air cylinder. Filling port at the front. You've also got something on the front there so if you want to put a silencer on. But look, look at that, and it's just so easy to move around that is probably one of the lightest little PCPs that I've seen in a long time. Simple, cute, and actually one of the winners of the show so far from what I've seen. And it's simply down to that action there. 
I really, really like that. The gun that stole the egg and launched Crown at SHOT Show 2018 is the new Red Wolf from Daystate. These new rifles have been under development at the Daystate factory for a few years now. And I have to say, I think it's been time well spent. This gun is beautiful. We are under show lights, so it is kind of difficult to give you an idea of the full colour pattern on the stock. But let me tell you, it looks way better in person than it does on camera. And yes, it's electronic. And look just how well that screen has been embedded into that glorious Manelli stock. On the underside of the pistol grip is where the power pack sits. And let me tell you, just from holding it, the balance on the gun feels absolutely right. If you don't like the red stock, there is gonna be a walnut option. But this, this is just gorgeous. It really, really is. The Siri Rosso is the special edition version of the new Red Wolf. Yep, it's got a price tag and without doubt, it's a collector's piece. The high gloss stock from Manelli is sculptured like no other day state, and it meets the shoulder with a 3D adjustable shoulder pad. Just in front of that is an adjustable cheek piece. Side lever cocking with the red handle, which does not charge the rifle. It only allows the magazine to index. The gun is fully electronic, so it has a super efficient firing cycle. Carbon shroud, and it's a real carbon shroud not a dipped one. Match grade fully adjustable electronic trigger and the gun is powered by a battery the same as modern flashlights. That means it's rechargeable. As with many day states, it's also either single shot or 10 shot. The air charging port is on the bottom. The block is gun metal grey and all new. The electronics have been upgraded on the Pulsar format using a rear safety system and the combination of this and the trigger control makes the changes to the electronic settings. It comes in standard 17 inch barrel or 23 inch for the high power. Also comes in 17722 and 25 from sub 12 up to high power. The standard walnut version will have all the same electronics on board, just none of the bling. The standard version will have a carbon shroud and the standard black block also the option of a steel bottle as opposed to the carbon one yep this is the electronic rifle i have been waiting for for a while now my airwolf mct is a tap driver cannot wait to shoot the new red wolf for myself if you're not a fan of an electronic gun and i know there's a few of you out there that aren't then this might rattle your cage it's the new day state wolverine r R stands for regulated and let me tell you that depending on which variant of bottle you have on the end that this in sub 12 foot pounds to two will give 600 plus shots from a manual regulated gun that means you simply aren't going to run out in the field it feels light and well balanced I'm a lover of the original Wolverine and Wolverine 2. And while the grey laminate stock may not be ideal if you're out there busting some pests, it does come in a regular walnut, so that might be better suited to what you're looking for. As with the Red Wolf, you've got side lever cocking action now. That indexes the multi-shot magazine, and that can also be single shot. You get used to that with day states, that's what they do. But it's the combination of these two dials just here that make this gun special. I follow many manufacturers around the world and I have to say that this and that is something that we've all been waiting for for a long time. Have I shot one yet? No. But is it the rifle that I most want to shoot right now? Yes. The R will be available in grey laminate and walnut. That's going to make a difference in the retail price. The gun has a 3D shoulder pad, ambidextrous stock, and the block is new to incorporate that humor regulator. Shrouded barrel, and it comes threaded for an optional silencer. Two-stage fully adjustable trigger, and match grade barrel. For me, it's no more power curve, no more wasted air, greater shot count, and more consistency across all calibers. Would I hand over my buttons for one now? Yep, indeed you do. But it's not only day state that's going all regulated. Brocock are at it too. Okay, so what I have in my hands here is the Brocock Bantam Sniper HM. It's a brand new gun just released here at SHOT Show. 
It'll be available in March 2018. So to run down on some of the new features this gun offers, it has the new Trident moderator, a much larger shroud. It's going to be a very quiet gun, 480cc bottle. But one of the great features they added to the Brocock line is this gun is now regulated. It has a Huma reg and there's two gauges, one for the reg regulator pressure and one gauge for the tank pressure. Much larger bolt handle, 10 shot rotary magazine, Picatinny rail, two stage fully adjustable trigger, a power adjuster, adjustable cheek piece. This gun will be available in synthetic and later in the year in beach. I've shot this gun in 22 caliber. I did a shot string on it. I got 135 shots with a 15 foot per second spread at 31 foot pounds of energy with a 250 bar fill. So the shot count on this gun and the, the consistency from shot to shot is amazing. So on the Brocock uh, at the show we have the Aztec Emerald Series 5.5 to 25 by 50 with the MOA turrets and the MOA reticle. The scope matches up real well with this rifle and it gives you a very nice uh, you know, setup, well balanced, lightweight. This is definitely going to find a, a spot in my house. Hi, I'm Danny. I'm product manager for the air guns here at Sig Sauer. I'm going to tell you about our new ASP-20 brake barrel air rifle. It has an integral suppressor. We have a solid locking uh, wedge locking system for the breech. I've got a slow acting piston in this gun so I can show you the ease of the cocking effort and the pull of the trigger. So this is our patent pending wedge lock system here. If you take a look at it, you see the angled wings. There's a matched angle on the fork there. So when this locks back together, it's like a keystone in an arch. That's about 35 pounds of cocking effort there. Locks back into place. And we have this amazing trigger here that's adjustable in both pull weight from two and a half to four pounds. And it's also adjustable in the second stage trigger pull. You can set it to whatever your preference is so it's comfortable for you. Take the safety off. We have a really smooth pull. We also here are showing our new Whiskey 3 ASP scope. It's a 4 to 12 by 44 with adjustable objective. It's collimated to 30 yards and it goes down from 7 yards to infinity for the adjustable objective. So just to let you know also on this Whiskey 3 ASP scope, there will be an option for you to receive an SBT turret. That's the SIG ballistic turret. You would send in your pellet that you're using and they'll make a special laser engraved turret for you that matches your ballistics. This rifle will come in 177 and 22 calibers. In 177, it's a 20 foot pound rifle. This is a gas piston. We're getting velocities with an 8.4 grain lead pellet of about 1,050 feet per second. In the 22 caliber, it's a 23 foot pound rifle and with a 14.65 grain lead pellet, we're getting about 860 feet per second. One of the best things about this brake barrel is it's being made in the USA at our Newington, New Hampshire facility, the same place that we make our world-class firearms. We're using a lot of the same technologies, CNC machining, FNC nitron finish. It's really a quality product. We are also using a Woodstock here that's made in Italy by Minelli. MSRP on the Woodstock model in the U.S. is $489. We also offer a synthetic version that's approximately $399 MSRP. You can find this product on our website at www.sigsour.com. Here on the Pyramid Air Stand, they're launching some new types of BBs. And these are shattering BBs, so they shatter on impact. And they're called dust devils. Pyramid says that they're 10% faster than your regular steel BBs. And there's no lead in them, which means it's a good thing for the environment. Made in the USA and coming in 0.177 or 4.5 mil. If you're a big kid like me, this is something that your mum's going to love because it's going to help with those ricochets when you're shooting. The Hellboy is based on the M4 carbine. It's a semi-auto CO2 BB gun, 177 calibre obviously, and it's going to chuck BBs out at around 450 feet per second. Magazine will hold 18 shots. The gun is a combination of what looks to be like a cast metal and some plastic composite. It feels really well made, and actually, I think this could be a lot of fun. Shotgun style air guns just got double barreled. Look at that. This is the Seneca. This is where you cock the gun. And on the top here, this is where you put the specially made cartridges in 
for shooting. Obviously, because it's double barreled, you need to tell the gun which barrel to put the air down. So there is a little transfer port switch here and that means that you direct the air down either barrel manually. That is a really, really sweet looking piece of kit. Now I know legislation in the UK makes this quite difficult, but for people in America, this is a fantastic bird basher. But to let you know, it does something else as well. It fires arrows as well. It fires these bolts. Now this is set up on the single shot version, but look at that. It's a bolt firing air gun. It's not only a bolt firing air gun, it's a shotgun. This is the TR5 Youth Target Rifle coming out in 2018. It's a spring piston air rifle aimed at juniors and it's got a five shot magazine. It's got an adjustable butt pad and what looks like a rail on top and on the front for adding a sight. Springfield Armoury are gonna be bringing out a new range of CO2 BB rifles. The ones on display here are the real things, not replicas. They tell me that the replicas for retail will be available later on in the year. What we can see today are some new replica pistols. These are going to be CO2 BB and Airsoft. Also coming out this year is the Dragonfly. This is a three-stroke pump lead pellet rifle. That looks like that could be an excellent backyard tin can basher. Now, all you Air Arms fans out there, good news. The S510 has now got a regulator in it. Over the last 18 months, Air Arms have been developing their own regulator, which is now in the Ultimate Sporter XS. Initially, this is in the high power variant, FAC or USA versions. Now, British fans, don't panic, because I'm sure there's something on its way for you guys. The XS comes with a new stock option, which is soft touch. That's a soft touch coating on a wooden stock. So it is a wooden stock and not hollow. There is a walnut stock option, and there is possibly in the future the option to swap the cheek pieces. As with the Ultimate Sporter that we all know, it's that trusted side lever cocking system with that well-respected Air Arms 10-shot magazine. There is a short cylinder version with onboard silencer and a longer cylinder version with a threaded barrel so you can add your own moderator. The rifles have a single manometer on them. Pressure gauge, I think I've said the right thing. Air Arms sets the regulator at factory to make sure that you get the best from it. It's not going to be adjustable at the user end. Shot counts are pretty impressive too, and depending on whether you go for the extra, which is the longer cylinder version, or the moderator version, they do vary. And power ranges from around 20 foot-pounds up to 44 foot-pounds. And both rifles are filled to 250 bar. Here on the calibre gun stand, there's the Capybara. Now we've seen something like this, I think, around over the last 12 months. It is a development project, but they tell me that in about six months' time, they're hoping to bring something out for retail. They're tinkering with it, and they're putting all sorts of new and little ideas on it. And look at this. Look at that. So you've got... Inbuilt in the stock, there you go, is the bipod. Now, I don't see any form of adjustment on there, but that is a lovely little touch. Look, and that tucks up. So you haven't got to carry anything around. And it just makes it look like it's part of the gun, which is really nice. Semi-auto, 18-shot magazine, 210cc air cylinder, and you filter around 300 bar. That's going to give you, as I say in 2.2, around 80 shots and it is semi-auto. And the bonkers thing about it, it's all square. Look at that. I do like that. It's a very original way of doing things. I don't know how you put a moderator on the front there. I'm guessing there's gonna be an aftermarket product there along the line. Picatinny rail on the top, and you've got the cocking lever right there on the side. Pressure gauge on the front, and the barrel is around 48 centimeters long. And actually, it's really, really pointable. It's a little square on the end there. That would maybe need to be a little bit softer, but actually, do you know what? I really, really like that. I liked it the last time I saw it. But with the addition of that bipod on the front, 
That's really fun. The caliber gun, capybara. Guys, welcome to the Air Force Air Guns booth at SHOT Show 2018. My name is Cameron. We have some really exciting news this year at Air Force Air Guns. Probably the biggest thing that we've kept pretty secret up till now is that Air Force Air Guns has recently acquired Rapid Air Weapons. And along with that, we've also acquired the Theoban name as well. So up here on top of our rack, we are uh, showing one of the prototypes of the guns that we'll be making under the Theoban name, the Rapid Mark II Plus. Um, as well as the Rapid Air Weapons HM-1000, the HM-1000 Long Range, and the Bench Rest Guns. We're really excited to have Rapid Air Weapons as part of the Air Force family. We're keeping everything the same. They're still going to be 100% USA made, hand fit stocks. Same people are going to be putting them together. Still the same quality you've come to expect out of these guns, but we're hoping to be able to increase uh, production levels and decrease the wait time so that people can get these guns even faster. So we're really excited to have this as part of our Air Force family. Of course, that's not the only thing. Let's head over to our Texan uh, stand and take a look at some of the new big bore developments for 2018. So here on our Texan stand, we of course have the venerable Texan, our big bore 458 caliber rifle that has been very, very popular for the last couple of years. Um, of course, we also have the 30 and the 357 calibers. And for 2018, We've also added a 257 caliber. This was something that we got a lot of requests for from varmint hunters, from coyote hunters, and guys who were wanting to push longer ranges with their air rifles. A lot of guys were converting their condors over to 257. We thought, let's give the people a 257, but we decided to base it on the Texan action, so you get a little bit of that extra Texan power. It's pushing uh, our test slugs, which are about 87 grains, around 1,100 feet per second. So lots of speed, almost 200 foot-pounds out of a 257 gun, so a lot of power. Um, we also, of course, have our Texan SSs, which have been available for a little while in the 457 caliber. Uh, we do have the 30 and the 35 calibers coming very soon. That should be out this year. And then we've also come out with a carbine version of the Texan. Basically, it's the same Texan you know and love, but it, utilizes the barrel out of the Texan SS without the suppressor so you get that nice short compact package for hunting in tight cover or inside of a, a closed blind. So a lot of exciting stuff for Air Force this year. So obviously we know that a lot of this stuff is you know more for the American market and that the Theoban stuff is going to be really exciting over in the UK and I can definitely say keep an eye on the Theoban brand because we're going to do our best to try and resurrect some of those models that have been out there and, and bring it back as best we can. We really want to pay homage to the quality and the precision that was the Oban and try our best to, to bring things back. Guys, I really appreciate you coming by and check out the Air Force Air Guns booth here at SHOT Show 2018. This is the Texan 308, the 30 cal. And because I have this in my hands and Giles is behind the camera, he needs to come to Texas with me and do some hog hunting. No, he will come to Texas and do hog hunting. I hear you. I hear he you. He needs to shoot this. And then my other favorite, the carbine series. We're going to sit in the hunting blind because we're built for comfort, not speed. And we're going to slay some hogs. You need to come to Texas, brother. I hear you. I'm coming. I'm going to look at flights. That's all I need to hear. Come play. <laughs> Hatsan comes to town with several new options. Firstly, the Flash QE, a tactical styled side action rifle, capable of multi shot and single shot. The Flash has the QE sound suppressor system built in, and it comes in 17722 and 25, with powers at 2938 and 40 foot pounds. 200 bar fill, giving between 35 and 20 shots, depending on the caliber choice. Next is the Proxima, a multi-shot underlever rifle, quattro trigger, fibre sights and adjustable cheek piece. Comes in 17722 and 25. And with a lead pellet, it's a max 950 feet per second, down to 650 feet per second depending on the calibre, which equates to 15, 18 and 20 foot pounds. Then it's the Bully, which seems to have every option available under the sun possible, capable of some amazing pellet speeds and I think you could attach the kitchen sink to it if you wanted to. 500cc carbon bottle, lots of rails, all the calibers and its side lever. There is also a semi-auto pistol called the Sorty or the Sorty Tact. We won't ever see that in the UK I'm guessing, but a high-teen semi-auto pistol 
is ideal for a bit of vermin control in the Wild West farms of America. One of the things that I've spotted that I really like the look of is this, and it's a Galatian. It's a Galatian semi-auto. Look at that. Now the Galatian is one of my favorite guns from a few years ago, and I made a video on it then, but it seems that now they do a semi-auto tactical version, and I like that a lot. 2018 is going to be the year of the Compressor Wars, and Hatsan have chucked their hat into the ring. Looks kind of similar to others, but they say it's not. Electronic controls and purging. Expect, and I am guessing, similar fill times to others. But once you have a compressor, you have unlimited shooting, and that's a good thing. All the numbers on these can be found in the links below. Go look, otherwise I would be here editing this for weeks to fit all the stats in on the new Hatsan rifles. Predator have got a new lead-free pellet coming out. These would be ideal if you're something like a CO2 pistol shooter, um, or you've got a permission that's a little bit particular about having lead on their ground, that's, that's always a good idea. Now, obviously because we're at the SHOT Show, so these all have to be glued down, we're not allowed to actually uh, take them apart. But, 177 calibre, you're looking at about 6.79 grains. And Predator are obviously well known for their other hunting pellets, like the Polymag, and they tell me that they're getting really, really good results. So, hopefully, a bit later on in the year, we'll get to have a look at one of these tins of pellets. Those are my personal picks of the things that I think airgun lovers are going to be looking at in 2018. I've put all the links in the description box below, including a place to get some fabulous shooting benches.